So my favorite quantum computing company, Ion Cube, just announced that they have achieved the next milestone on their path towards scaling their systems, which is demonstrating remote ion to ion entanglement. So this is gonna be a really interesting video. And I even have an official video from INQ themselves that I'm gonna play as well. So stick around for that. But first, what exactly is remote ion entanglement? Well, it's a process in quantum computing where two ions, located far apart from each other, become quantumly linked or entangled. This means their states are connected in such a way that the state of one ion instantly influences the other, no matter the distance between them. It honestly kind of sounds like science fiction, but this is actually a real thing. And this is key for quantum communication and computing because it enables information to be shared and processed across long distances in a highly secure and efficient way. So a real world case for this would be using quantum encryption for secure communication. For example, two parties could share a secret key using entangled ions, ensuring any eavesdropping would be noticed, making it highly secure for banking and military communications. Which is pretty interesting, considering INQ just received a $54 million contract with the US Air Force Research Lab. Now of course, I don't know if this is going to be used in their contract, but it's at least fun to entertain the thought. For now though, I think the main purpose of this will be to scale INQ's systems. Anyway though, building off their ion photon entanglement achievement, which was announced back in February, this new demonstration is a huge foundational step towards quantum networking and a core component of INQ's scaling strategy. In fact, INQ's team entangled two trapped INQ bits from separate trap wells using entangled photons to achieve these results. So, remote entanglement was achieved by developing a system to collect photons from two trapped wells and routing them to a single detection hub. So, while INQ is always intended to implement these photonic interconnections into their systems, according to this article from INQ themselves, never before has any company demonstrated the ability to bring this technology to an integration stage within a commercially available enterprise-grade quantum computer. I mean, at this point, INQ is really making some rapid progress with their systems. And now that ion entanglement has been unlocked, I think we're gonna see INQ's computers get even more powerful by next year. Anyway though, let's roll the most recent video that INQ released in regards to their latest achievement. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So INQ's scaling strategy was defined early on. That scaling strategy is premised on the fact that in a trapped ion system, the, the trapped ions have a natural inherent high fidelity. It's one of the modalities that has the, the best overall fidelity right out of the box. And trapped ions are great first and foremost because they're ions. Ions are atoms and all of the atoms are the same from nature. So that's very powerful because they are not subject to manufacturing variability, which means that we can build and engineer these systems with incredible precision and kind of staggering scale. And really getting into that stage of doing quantum computer engineering is very exciting. High fidelity long chain operation at some point reaches a limit, at which point you need to be able to break those chains into multiple cores. That's the second piece of our scaling strategy, being able to operate multiple cores of long chains at high fidelity to be able to drive overall increased circuit depth and overall performance. This is our reconfigurable multi-core quantum architecture. At some point, you reach a limit of what a single multi-core system can do, at which point you then move to uh, multi-QPU. That's done through photonically interconnected systems. It's something that was demonstrated in the lab years ago. We're now in the process of commercializing that technology. and so. Part of our scaling strategy is our photonically interconnected systems or our photonic interconnects. Photonic interconnects is based off of the fundamental principle that you can entangle an ion with a photon. In our Seattle facility, we're building systems to be able to do these demonstrations, be able to scale these technologies. Part of the work that we're doing in Seattle is associated with our, some of our Air Force contracts. Some of that networking work is building on and trying to deliver overall components of our photonically interconnected kind of technology roadmap for the Air Force. So in summary, the main feature of our architecture that enables scaling is flexible and complete connectivity within the core. 
the ability to chain these cores together and reconfigure them, and the capability of trapped ions to be interconnected photonically. And so overall, you have these three tiers of scaling, parcels or cores, out to modules, and out to interconnected modules. And in doing this, and doing this in a balanced way, we can have an incredibly flexible architecture for scaling towards uh, larger and larger algorithms um, and be agnostic to what the particular structure of those algorithms are. Because you know, we aren't on this journey alone. And as we start to build better and better hardware, it's our sincere hope that our customers are going to come up with applications that we haven't even thought of.